Hey, it's Olivia. Hey, it's Olivia, and welcome back. Well, to me and to you, it's been a while for both of us, I think. Hey, it's Olivia. Just watch this video. I have had the opportunity to come back and do videos for a reasonable amount of time now and I've just been honestly really lazy. It doesn't matter, I'm really excited to start making videos again. I'm really happy that I came back with something like this because it's a really pretty look, especially for this time of year, even though it's pouring with rain outside. If you want to see how I did it, wait about three seconds because I don't think she's really ready just yet, so just... Yep, okay, let's go! Where am I? So the main focus for this look is the eyes, so I'm just going to do a basic base makeup. I just look sculpted. And now the other brow. But you guys probably don't want to see that, so I'm just going to fast forward it. So. Now that I've set my face and I'm going to do my contour and highlight until after I've done my eyes purely because that's how I want to do it. For my eyes, I'm not using an eyeshadow palette. I'm using the Revolution palette which is a blush palette. Well, it's a blush cheek palette and it's called Revaholic Cheeks. Now usually I would advise that you do this with a clean brush that you'll get the same effect by just really brushing your, your brush into a, into a tissue. But if your brushes are clean, that's good. Uh, we're going in with really, really bright pinks, so I would suggest using a clean brush just so you don't get, if you've done a smoky eye or if you've done blue, um, you just want pure pink in this. So I have cleaned this brush as much as possible. So we're just gonna leave it at that. The first color that I start off with is this really bright red. And I'm just gonna pack my brush into it. <laughs> Tap off the excess and I'm just going to run this through my crease. <laughs> Words. I'm going to run this through my crease and blend it out as much as I can. Oh, hello pigment. If you work in circular motions and you just focus on the crease and then just blend up slightly so in big circular swooping motions and you'll get that blend that you want it's always better to go slowly like doing a small bit of color small bit of color small bit of color rather than get loading your brush up with red and then having to blend it out because that just takes forever so i'm just blending it out a little bit more so just making sure to blend it outwards and upwards I'm just going to do the same and get a little bit more on my brush and go further in. Um, the next colour I'm going to go into is this one right here. It's more of a tan baby pink and I'm also just going to run that through my crease. I'm blending it into the other pink and then I kind of bring it down here connect it to my to the end of my eyelid like that I'm then going to take this the more of a peachy colour here and then I'm going to um, I want to focus it more on the outer corner and blending it on the outside zoomed in a little bit more just so you can see more of what I'm doing and now using this little 
this shade right here and I'm going to bring that also on my outer corner just to give my eye a little bit more depth. That is it for the lids for the moment. And using the same kind of peachy colour here that I used... Oh wait, no, where was it? This is the second colour that I used on the eyes. Just going to take that with a small shader brush, tap it off and then run it underneath my lash line and connect it up to the um, lid. For the final eyeshadow bit of the lids, I'm now going to use the Urban Decay Moon Dust, which I've borrowed from my mum. And I'm going to take the colour Element. I'm just going to do it like this. Which is this one. Now, I don't know if the camera picks it up that well, but Element has a duochrome effect. So it is a pink and gold shadow. If I do a little swatch, maybe I can show you. See, it looks kind of pink and gold. But before I do that, so that the eyeshadow lasts longer on my lids, I'm gonna take a small bit of my concealer and the Real Techniques detailer brush, and I'm going to make almost like a crescent shape on my lid, starting from the inner corner of my eye around about the middle, maybe three quarters of the way down and very carefully and slowly, it's really important to go slow on this just you get that nice curve that you see on a lot of photos and things like that so I'm just going to follow the line, I don't know if you can see that little line at the top there and I'm going to follow that with my brush and just That's what I want. And then I'm going to put more concealer over my lid. I'm just kind of fading it into the rest of the eyeshadow. I'm not going to set it just because it is still wet and it makes it easier for the eyeshadow to still stick on to the concealer and stay on for however long you're going to wear it for. And using almost like a concealer brush, I just want to keep my eye closed so that eyeshadow doesn't, so that concealer doesn't go onto my lid. Um, I'm just going to take this shader brush and just follow the line and try and get it as crisp as possible. If you wanted to you could also put setting spray on your brush and then apply the eyeshadow just so that it stays even longer. I don't really want to do that today but if I was going to wear this makeup for a long time then I absolutely would. Now that I've got that first initial kind of base of that shadow down I'm just going to use my ring finger and put even more on and just making sure that I don't go over that line that I created with the concealer and also kind of blending it into the outside as you put more on you'll probably see that it becomes kind of foiled so and it becomes more intense the, the pigment becomes more intense um, that's what I want I now if you wanted to you could absolutely just leave this as it is and then apply some mascara or some false lashes and just leave it at that but I think winged liner really brings this look out so I'm just going to apply it um, because it's a lot of pressure to do it on camera and get it right so I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be here that didn't go as planned here's the good thing about eyeliner if you apply lashes and you have ruined your eye makeup the lashes cover it and just make you look amazing so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply a little bit of mascara and then we'll get on to the applying of the fake lashes. Um, for my mascara I'm applying the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I'm just going to apply that right from the base of my lashes and go up because my lashes suck.
Now to apply my lashes. Usually I would leave this till the end, but I feel like applying them now. So I'm just going to apply the Allure London Definition Lashes in the number 121. Um, I'll show you the cool thing about these lashes. So these lashes have a, another strap of lashes at the end. I don't know if you can see, but they are thicker at the end here. That is because the ends have two sets of lashes that are double stacked on top of them. I love double stacked lashes and they, this just does the hard work for you. So really all that you have left to do is to get rid of the disgusting lash glue that was left on them from the previous three times that you've worn these lashes. Um, I'm just going to use the eyelid glue that comes with it. Just going to apply a really thick layer, um, trying to keep it on the ends because that's where my eyelash, my eyelashes tend to come off the most. And then doing that little shaky thing that everyone does to get the glue to go tacky so that it will stay on your lashes. This is also a really good time to um, curve the lashes back into shape. So if you've worn a certain pair of lashes for a really long time and they're starting to go straight instead of staying curved, um, put, when you're still waiting for the glue to go tacky, just bending it like this is a good way for them to stay curved. And then using a pair of tweezers and I'm just gonna grab the middle, trying not to flatten it as best I can. And then going from on top and just trying to fit them in. And then I get the mirror and I try and maneuver it. So that it fits onto the base of my lashes. So I have a little bit of a tip if your lashes aren't going into your fake ones and you can just see the definite difference between the two. So I had a mascara, you can use any mascara wand, but obviously once the mascara has run out or it's dried out, a big tip is to take the wand out and clean it off with some, I don't know, with some shampoo or however you would clean your brushes and just I cut off the I cuff I cut off as far as I could with a pair of kitchen scissors and you're left with the wand as it is and it's really good I found for separating lashes even if you're not applying fake lashes it's really good to separate them after you've applied mascara so once my lash glue is dried I take the mascara wand and then I just run them through and I just wiggle them up just so that my natural lashes can go into my fake ones. So I'm just going to do that now. And also I just kind of twist the wand as well, just so, like I just twist it in my hand so I just, with my fingers I just go like that so it rolls up. Now just to finish off my eyes, especially if I've put on big, thick, false lashes, I like to do um, bo um, bottom lash mascara, a lot more than I usually do, I barely put any on if I'm just wearing normal mascara with no lashes. So I'm just using my Clarins Be Long Mascara, and this is the travel size, so it's a really little wand which I like to use for my bottom lashes, and I'm just going to apply um, a little bit more than I usually would, so. That's it for the eyes, so let's move on to the rest of my face. <laughs> Part. So when I first wore this look I just wore this uh, Revolution Salvation Velvet Lacquer which is in the colour Velvet Rebel and it is a really deep almost purpley pink um, and it's really really pretty it's really gorgeous but I thought why not try an ombre with this NYX 
soft matte lip cream that I have in the colour Cans, um, which is like a creamy, think of cream soda mixed with pink lemonade. It's like that. Imagine that as a colour. That's that's what this is in can cans. Um, so I'm going to be mixing these two colours, holding them the wrong way. I'm going to be mixing these two colours, this one on the outside of my lips and then this one in the centre. You'll see what I mean as I'm going along. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the applicator and then just following my lip line. And I'm also slightly overdrawing my lips because they are really small. And before they dry, and I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and put it on the centre of my lips. So it just gives that ombre effect. So just a little bit more. And before that gets dry, I'm going to apply my lip gloss because I cannot stand matte. And then I'm pushing my hair back because we're going to go back in with setting spray because it's hot. Set me up for life. Pretty in pink or what? I'm really happy that this look turned out better than when I did it for the first time. So even better, especially for the video, I'd rather it turned out better, better for the video rather than me going out somewhere. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. Check out my other videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! I'm wearing a dress because it's the end of June, but it's boiling in this house. But if I open my window, noises come from outside and it doesn't, it interferes with my filming. I really wanted to wear something pink to go with this makeup look, but I don't have anything pink. My mirror is on a stand right now because it's not tall enough. And everyone likes to drive in the rain which interrupts my filming. It's rude. I'm gonna keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm an idiot <laughs> and I'm too hot to have my hair down but I don't want it to be up. Struggles. I tweeted there was a photo of Levi lying on the floor and I instantly thought the floor is lava and I was like I have to tweet that to Kira. So I screenshotted the photo of Levi on the floor and then I sent it to her on Twitter. I. You know, I mentioned her and I was like, the floor is lava with the photo. About half an hour later, I got a notification from Twitter saying, OK Baby T, because I don't know, they have a T at the end of the name. OK Baby T liked your tweet and I was like, that did not just happen. <laughs> so like, comment and subscribe down below. Check out my other videos and I'll see you in my next one. And oh f off. Rude. Oh yeah, I hate when I have to do the intro because I'm so awkward and I can't speak for my life. Oh my god, things are falling.